So this is all very interesting, but how does this apply to you? Why do you need to know that there's different types of bone in different areas of the mouth? Well, I got a few reasons. And one of those reasons would be, let's say we're taking out an upper premolar tooth. So that upper premolar is leaning out to the facial aspect of the mouth. The root is tipped in and it's laying squarely against the palatal cortical plate. Now, what's gonna happen when you go to apply your typical buccal forces to that tooth is you're gonna get very little movement. And the reason's because there's no cancellous bone left in between the tip of that root or that root apex and that cortical bone. So the cortical bone isn't going to expand the same way that the cancellous bone would. So if we continue to apply our forces to that tooth in a buccal direction, we're likely gonna break the root of that tooth and we're gonna have a more difficult extraction as a result. Now that's just one example. There's many examples of that. So you need to kind of consider which way are the roots leaning from this tooth. Might they be touching the cortical plate or butted up against it? If they are, you might have to alter the way that you're applying your forces to the tooth.